everyone today I'm going to be showing you how I made this perfume stand that can also be a cupcake stand so everything that you need for this project is listed in the description box but here's a look at some of the things that I used okay so let's jump right on in so the first thing I'm doing is I'm going to remove these little pads off the backs of all of the mirrors because I need that to off so that the mirrors can sit flat so I'm going to take four mirrors and bump them up against each other as as square as I can and then I'm going to take the clear plate and I'm going to position it right centered um, between the four mirrors and I'm going to apply my Gorilla Glue I'm going to end up changing over to um, E6000 but I'm starting off with the Gorilla Glue right now and I'm going to also apply some hot glue so that I can continue to build this and continue on with the video. You really, you don't have to do hot glue, but you would have to wait until this dries before you actually go on to the next step. And I did repeat this exact same procedure twice. The four mirrors face down and one of the clear plates with the um, Gorilla Glue and the hot glue. So I did two of those. Next thing I'm doing is I'm going to flip one of them over once they're sturdy enough to be flipped over. The, the uh, Gorilla Glue takes approximately 24 hours to cure. So don't actually pick this up until 24 hours has passed. So I'm going to put the uh, E6000 along the rim of the of the uh, martini glass and then I'm going to uh, center this up as best as I can and I'm going to attach it to the center of the mirrors. I'm going to put a couple of flowers in this. If you're going to use something like this for a party you can definitely use flowers that coordinate with the colors of your party. But I'm using this for a perfume stand and this is going to look great in my closet which is also my um, beauty room. And if you haven't seen that video, I'll leave a link below. And then I'm going to go in with some more um, hot glue and E6000 glue at the very, um, what is the bottom of the martini glass. And then I'm going to put the second assembly of the mirror and the uh, clear plate on top. And I'm just centering that up um, by eyeballing it. Um, if you want it to be perfect, you could definitely... Um, you know kind of use a ruler to measure everything out then I'm going to go in with another martini glass doing the exact same thing I'm going to take the E6000 along the rim and I'm going to center it up with a couple of flowers right on the second tier of the um, perfume stand then I'm going to put E6000 on the bottom again which I forgot to film and then I'm going to put one mirror at the top and then one of these little fishbowl looking bases at the top of that. And I did use E6000 on both of those surfaces. Now I'm going to apply my diamond wrap. I'm just going to go with my hot glue gun along the base of the martini glasses, along the base of the fishbowl at the top. I'm also going to wrap uh, some around the um, one of the stems of the martini glass. Okay, now I'm going to go along the edge of all of the mirrors with a row of diamond wrap. So this is, I believe it's about six rows of diamond wrap. Um, it's what actually comes on the spool and I didn't cut it at all. Um, definitely don't have to do this part, but I just like the way it looks. Here I'm dabbing a, a little bit of hot glue to get one row of diamond wrap wrapped around um, the stem of this top martini glass.
Okay, when I'm done applying the diamond wrap along the mirrors, I'm going to flip this whole thing upside down. Before you do that, make sure your glue is completely, completely dry. And I'm going to attach one of these Lazy Susans that I got from the Dollar Tree. I know they don't have them right now because I've had this for a while. So I will put some links below to Amazon and to Walmart where you can actually find a Lazy Susan. And you totally don't have to have it rotate. That's only if you really want it to rotate. So guys, this is the finished product. I just think this is so beautiful. And I wanted something like this for a while to put my perfume on. So I'm definitely going to be putting this in my beauty room. Guys, check out the link in my description box. I do have an affiliate link for Scentbird, which is a perfume subscription service. Um, they have great deals on designer perfumes they're totally authentic check out the link in my description box if you're looking for some affordable designer perfumes thank you all for watching and i will see you in my next video bye bye